Hello guys and welcome to my Hearts of Iron 4 video where I will be starting a new series as Germany and well you have seen probably multiple streams already that I have made and that I have used Germany quite a lot but today there is something different the end objective is not something that I will do usually something that I think I haven't even done it ever in Wave 4. And um, so today I will try to overtake the world. Which means that my end goal is to have every single territory either controlled directly, directly by me or by one of my puppets. Like both ways it's fine for me. But yeah, like, no one else having anything. And that's not gonna be easy. Since uh, it's gonna take a lot of time. If I go don't get any everything just right. And since I don't even know how everything right will be, then I won't. Um, also, yeah. I have achievements on, which just is proof that I am indeed in... Um, Iron Man modes. You though I, I don't even get to be the point of not being in, in that, but alright. Um, now, as most of you guys probably know, as German you get um, one, at, like at least one country that you can um, just go and take before anyone actually like from allies joins at, at least you can get this one if you are like early enough by the means of both time and um, world tension um, and I would say there are two options really one of them is Czechoslovakia and another one is Poland so I would go for Poland which is probably not even the best choice like Probably making sure that we will 100% get towards France, or well, two France would be better, or um, I don't know, some like uh, more interesting one. But um, my target this time is Poland. So yeah, that's what we will go for. Now, of course, let's um, make sure that this outdated navy will be done as soon as possible. I won't change those numbers, but I will make sure that the factories will just, well, the dockers will just go towards producing that stuff quicker. So yeah, once we have three dockers, we know that we have some at least some strips constructed for us um, yeah now when go going for Poland of course we need um, we need to make sure that uh, we have troops on the western part of the front and also on the well, both northern and eastern part of the possible fronts. So yeah, we, we have to use the Königsberg region to increase our chances here. So yeah. Um, now we also need to, def need to train some more divisions. What we're actually producing currently um, infantry equipment for and we should be producing enough so um, we will get at least some of them to field to uh, support the attack from Königsberg area it's going pretty quickly right now which is something you won't see in a few years where um, everyone just has lots of stuff so and all everyone is at war so it will take like way more effort and time for the computer to sim it 
So yes, let's enjoy it moving right now. Sure, let's get rid of those planes here. And let's put them already ready for the war with Poland. And I think we can leave uh, naval bombers out of this one. Alright, let's go for Hermann Göring Werke. Just to get more receivers in right now. And let's go for concentrated industry. And let's just hope that it ends up giving me the best results. Alright, we are about halfway through the justification phase. And I would really like to go for that one right now, but I would say that infantry would be just more beneficial. Since that's something that we are going to actually use really soon. Now we already have some traits available, soft attack and reliability, sure, why not. I could create an Asian sim, and this time I'm going to do something that you usually don't, I'm not going to change the name, and sure let's go for them. Dispatch them. Now, uh, how far are we? Still 75 days. Well, that's not too terrible. I can just get more receivers by that time. Which will, of course, be helpful. Since we are using those um, sieves to construct even more sieves. So that we are gonna be really strong in the future. By the means of uh, construction and economy. Oh yeah, also, also, let's make sure that we get them on the field. So we even can use them. Yeah, now we're well, way better prepared than before for the war. Now let's see, what do they want? Um, they want our support. Alright. Yeah, I mean, if one of our allies got killed, or some, someone got killed, someone us useful for us got killed, then sure, let's pressure them into making the right decision. Right. So yeah, uh, now what? How much until war? Less than 30 days. Yeah, we can survive that. Okay, that's not to limit. Of course, we can survive that because we're in no danger right now. But um, yeah, that's that's like decent amount of time. Now let's actually get some. Um, wait, is that off? done already? No. Then let's get some artillery upgrades. And sure, let's make our fleet have better max range. Here, but, well, sure, extra research slot never hurts. And now we can go towards declaring war on them. Oh, yeah, also let's start pressuring um, Netherlands. 
into our trade. Um, wait, what? Is that? Yeah, I thought that maybe we got one against Switzerland as well, but let's go in, let's make the best use of it. And they simply should be able to do what they need to do. Like, I shouldn't have to do much here, like micromanaging by the micromanager means. Um, yeah, now you just break through from the two sides, make it. Alright, if they want to be close from here, then that works as well. Like, no problem with that. Um, but yeah, this pocket in here needed to be made and also needs to be crushed, yeah. Now Poland has a lot less forces available to them. So, um, yeah, now they are. Now it's just really a question of time, really. Because, yeah, they are. They cannot simply put up with this fight. Even though we don't. We are not too strong either right now. Now, I think that. Those areas should be like historically ours. And I'm gonna do something that I'm not sure if I should, but I will pop it to rest. Also, let's make sure that we, of course, exploit this new puppet as hard as we can for our own good. And yeah. So I guess it says we don't have cores on those areas. Well, unfortunate. But we still, yeah, just for historical reasons, kinda wanted to get that. So now let's um, take that so we can get Hungary and Romania aligned to our side. Which is something we also could benefit from. Yeah, also something uh, for the stronger ships should be researched. Now, uh, let's make sure we get some more of that in. And a few more fighter factories will surely help us. Estonia Civil War, well, that, that, that doesn't really matter right now. It would be annoying for them to go communist, though, but... Yeah, surely you're independent, you're already puppeted, surely independent. And uh, now, we don't really have much we can do before we are going Frenchless. Of course, we could, in theory, try our luck here. How much we have cost? Yeah, we have generally way too much to even try to do that. Um, now, Norway. Let's see. Well, it doesn't really matter since they didn't start, start as our puppets, so it doesn't matter really how it ends for them. We will on. They have to beat them anyways. And uh, now, let's make sure that we have at least some bonuses as well for the ships. And maybe something to the navy. Not the navy, sorry, air. Range improvements, sure. Because that will be useful. Now let's start with trying to align Romania because that probably takes more time. And yeah, let's um, surely just send them to um, border here. Because, well, why not? Like, there is a theoretical chance that they could decline. It has happened like once or twice, but I don't really want to give them the false idea that they have 
choice here. They don't. They really don't have any choice there. Now, that's probably not what I should go for, but that's what I will go for. So I will get be able to use those uh, points as efficiently as possible. Our missing points. Also, we should probably take a look at our. That's pretty fine. Nothing perfect, but um, that will do. That will do for us here. Nah. Radio? Sure. Sure. Wait, no. Can we? We cannot join. No, 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 no. Can't we join the war? Oh, come on. That's that's just annoying. Could I? No. That will take way too long. Uh, well, do you have any army? Zero. Yeah. So there is no point of him trying to send anything in. They have zero divisions, they will just get run over. So well, so much about my puppet then. Can we at least send some forces? No, we must fight alongside them in war. And we don't, the world doesn't have enough tension for us to join. Well, that's really unfortunate picking for them series but let's see where we can go from from that position in the next episodes to come thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one bye bye